Alright folks, this is The Ace Charming, ACT time, and uh, this is going to be part two of the Luther recap um, of the season two review as well as going through some character analysis. Uh, spoilers ahead, warning. Um, there is uh, Luther, but Alice, who is in the first one, who will, the, will be the person that you meet in the first episode in the murder, ends up being a basically a psycho, but she becomes friends with John. Uh, you see a lot of uh, dialogue between them. It gets really good all throughout the first season. She really kind of helps him out, tries to keep him at a steady head. Um, it's a little bit like in Dexter with... Uh, his dad, who's not, but he's not even really there, but he kind of keeps him an even keel. Um, I apologize for referencing Dexter, but it is a show that I find very similar in some ways, uh, in the way that it's structured with the characters and everything. Um, I am really a big fan of uh, his uh, first right-hand man. Um, in the first season, you will see him stand by him through thick and thin. Um, at the end of season one, he does a very bold move um, that basically gets him fired to stand up for this guy. Uh, just awesome guy, man. I mean, I love this. I love his character throughout. Um, there's a really interesting twist about midway through season one where um, one of the cops becomes corrupted and tries to get a, a piece of the action, and uh, it really takes the episode for a complete turn around. I mean, the the first three, three, first three or four episodes are kind of kind of casual. I mean, there's some pretty crazy stuff that goes on, but for for most of it, you kind of know what's what's going on. And all of a sudden, in about season, episode four, you know, five, uh, you basically uh, stuff hits the fan. And uh, it goes crazy, um, you know. In the in the beginning, he and his wife, you know, they're they're divorced. They're not really divorced, but for all intents and purposes, they are. Um, that adds an interesting dynamic. Um, her new uh, boyfriend, basically, and him, they have some tiffs. I will say, at the end of season one, uh, it is insane. Uh, but everything everything works out well, I guess you could say. It all depends on your perspective, I guess. Um, moving on to season two, season one, uh, every season, uh, at least first and second one, leave with a great ending line. They go, "So what do we do now?" or "So what happens next?" And because in the first season, you're kind of like, uh, "I don't know what's going to happen next." Like, there's is there really anything else? Um, for, for this guy. I mean, this guy's got to be pretty downtrodden. Um, but uh, it does it does pick up in Season 2. Um, interesting the way that, the way that they wove the, uh, the whole prostitution scandal in there, um, that kind of seedy underbelly of, uh, of the world. Um, I kind of I kind of understood it. Um, it definitely took uh, the whole series in a little bit different turn of events. Um, personally, I didn't really like the, uh, the girl, um, maybe it's because she was too young, and I really liked Alice, um, Alice ends up leaving to go, uh, because she has to, because she gets captured, they basically bring her in, because she ends up, I can't, I don't want to spoil too much, but, uh, yeah, she ends up getting, uh, committed to an insane asylum, and then John breaks her out, Luth John Luther breaks her out, and so she's on the lam, so... She ends up leaving, uh, so I just kind of feel like there's an empty gap there because he always has kind of a struggle with her because uh, she just doesn't understand why he tries to hide who he really is. Um, she has some pretty crazy things, but in the second one, I just felt like the characters weren't as much. There's a uh, there's an individual that uh, there's a lady that joins their squad, and she's kind of a a witch uh, throughout, and I really don't like her. Uh, I was kind of happy to see her get what's coming to her. Um, not in not in a getting dead way, but she just kind of gets told to uh, STFU, which is great because she's kind of prying, and this guy knows what he's doing. Um, I mean, I can kind of see her being a little bit more of the snooty person, but she just kind of needs to lay off, at least in my opinion. Um, 
there's some crazy scenes with uh, that the guy that you really like. Man, I was like finishing up episode two. I I thought he was gonna die. So uh, I know I wasn't sure he was gonna make it. Uh, so season two is only four episodes. It wraps up. Um, really cool. He ends up going to solve his problems and kind of just walks and says, you know what, uh, leave me alone or I'll send over my uh, serial killer uh, friend Alice over to see you and we'll basically destroy everything that you have and mutilate your whole body. Um, and that kind of gets him off, uh, off the hook. Uh, so I guess I just wanted to write these reviews because... Um, or at least say these reviews, so that some of you that are uh, some of my American fans can check this show out, um, maybe get some buzz started about it. I mean, uh, I'm not in Britain, so I have, I have no say on it. It doesn't matter to me. It all, all matters what BBC does. But uh, it was a very good show. Um, I've never heard of it. Um, I doubt many of you guys have heard of it. Uh, I only saw it on the Ice Films for like three days ago when I basically watched the whole season I couldn't put it down. So that about wraps up the season two. Um, the characters, I still don't want to spoil too much. I give you a little bit of the plot, but not much. Um, I'll probably be doing some reviews like this in the future. Um, if there's a specific uh, Dexter episode I want to talk about, Breaking Bad. Um, you know, episodes that I really feel like I... Uh, I, I'd like to dissect or kind of have a question and answer for you guys. So I guess um, in this part two, uh, you you can definitely do it in part one as well. But just give me a little bit of feedback. You know, have you watched the show? Um, what did you think of it? Uh, if you had to give it a scale on a one to ten, what would you rate it? I would probably rate it about a nine point five. Um, season one, I would have to say it's probably a ten. Season two is probably a nine. Um, I just didn't like some of the characters as much. Um, just the way that they formula formulated it. I mean, I still loved him and all of his friends, but there are just a couple of characters that I felt like they throw in, threw in there that are really annoying that you don't like. Um, the chief also doesn't come back. She's she's very uh, a good polarizing character off of him. Uh, but the new guy, I'm pretty uh, I'm okay with. He was he did a good job. He kind of redeemed himself, and it was a good way to kind of bring him into the fold. Um, but this has been season one, season two. So yeah. Rate it 1 to 10 down below in the comments. Tell me if you've watched it, um, and then possibly tell me some other shows that are similar um, that you actually enjoy that not many people have heard of. Um, that's about it. So I will see you guys all later. This has been The Ace Charming. Don't forget to comment, uh, like, dislike, or, and, and subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys all later. Bye.